spinning tires. Oh, Billy, are you still playing? I couldn't hardly tell. It was so easy to beat you. I thought maybe you'd walked off and let me win. If I put an X there, then she puts an O on top, and then... But if I put an X on top... Oh, snot! Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play I again, Billy. Sanitarium you never, Boot Camp. Never, never beat me. I guess we can't interact Billy with it. Billy is a loser. Billy is a loser. Wanna Nor the paper. Again? Uh, I'm not entirely believing that what's what happened happened there with the uh, angel coming to life and teleporting it us. It looks like the statue from the tower. But, uh, do we still have our key? No. Okay. So now we're in a new area. We have no objective other than the find the truth as vague as that is if i put an x there well, i guess it's time to explore hello kid but if i put an x on top oh, oh can i not? not hey you big dope get out of our life come on billy let's play you're not supposed to okay okay i win again billy he has never, two never, faces. Never Great, a bratty kid Billy with two mouths. Her hands and face are deformed. Play again? Hello there. I win again, Billy. Hey, you um, can't never, never, kid. never uh, beat me. What's Billy your name? My name's Billy. Billy what's yours? Want to play again? I. I can't remember my name. Well, Mother won't let me talk to strangers, so you'd better leave. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother only talks to us kids, not a big poop head like you. All right, well, thank you for your time. Who are you, young lady? My name's Jessie Hatcher. What's yours? I, uh, I can't remember my name. Well, Mother won't let me talk to strangers, so you'd better leave. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother is everywhere. All right, well, thank you for your time. Looks like the area we have to explore here is a lot bigger. I kind of want to see what the bounds are. We got a spring flood must have washed out the bridge. Need some kind of stepping stone. Hmm. Alright. So that's our limit there. That might be the zone transition too. There's certainly a lot to do here. A lot more to see than that first level, which was so simple. Ugh. Moldy lemonade. Unfit to drink. Ugh. Ugh. Moldy. All right. I win again, Billy. You can't never. God, never, they're so loud. I wish I knew which setting that. Was. I don't know if that's under, technically under the dialogue or under ambient sound. Cause I'd love to turn them down. But. Oh. This place must hold some clues. Okay. I guess we can start there. Nope, oh, can't look at the paper. Ooh. Somebody needs a driving lesson. I smell gasoline. I wonder if that person is us. Oh, we can actually go down there. Hello there, kid. This boy looks almost normal. Hi there. Uh, what's your name, kid? My name is Timothy. Timothy O'Toole. But you can call me Timmy. All the other kids call me Timmy. What's your name, mister? Sarah would like to see you now. My name is Max. That's a good name. Now you're not a stranger. There we go. Now we've had enough flashbacks that we remember our name apparently from when we were kids. So let's ask this, quid, this kid some questions now that we've got one that'll talk to us. Where are we? What town is this? 
The name of the town is on a big sign. Didn't you see it? Where are you from? I... I don't remember. Well, you remembered your name. Maybe you'll remember where you came from next. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Mother said that God made them all go away, because we're his special children. Special children? What does your mother mean by that? Really? Mother said that God wanted her to protect his special children, so he sent her to save us. Save you from what? From the disease, of course. Disease? Mm-hmm. The disease of meat. The disease of meat. Meat? Is she a vegetarian? What's a vegetarian? It's someone who eats plants, not animals. Well, I think that's what she is. How are the fish biting today? Not so good, but I could sit here all day, so I don't care. You mean you never go into town? Well, only to go to church, but I haven't heard the call to mass in a long time. Ooh, okay, so all the kids will run if we uh, trigger a mass. The call to mass? What's that? Father would ring the bell, but since all the adults went away, no one's been able to ring it. Really? How come? Dennis cut the rope so no one can reach it. All right, let's see if we can investigate this car any closer. Somebody needs a driving lesson. I smell gasoline. Oh, there we go. From the fumes, I'd guess that the tank is full. All right, so we at least we know where to get gas once we have like a siphon or something. <laughs> All right, let's go in here and this place must see if it has some clues. Never, never, never. All right, uh, let's see. We got a picture that apparently we're not interested in. Damn, useless crap. And I was so sure that I would find some clues in here. <laughs> uh. Ugh, barrels filled with rotten fish. I wonder if that's all what that kid is doing. Ew. All right. Well, it looks like there's nothing else to... Oops. There we go. The hazard of playing in a, a window game. And actually, I'm not even... I'm not even looking at the actual game itself. I'm using the OBS window to uh, look at it, which actually... Excuse me for a second. Oh, that's so much bigger for me now. It's like maybe it's still a quarter of what you guys would will see on YouTube, but why are these doors boarded up? Schoolhouse. Hmm. Schoolhouse. Oh, I thought that was like a hole in the wall or something. We got a little Ooh. schoolhouse. Oh. Ooh, that clock is the hands on the clock they're they're moving backwards this girl has two wooden legs wow impressive dexterity then that she's able to do that who are you megan jones but you can call me peg leg that's what all the kids call me that's mean i would never call you that thanks mister you're nice what's your name my name is max that's a nice name. Hey, now you aren't a stranger. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are, where are all of the adults? Sorry, Max, but Mother won't let us talk about that. Why is that? Mother says that all adults except her are bad, and we shouldn't talk to them. Adults are bad? I don't understand. Why does your mother distrust all other adults so much? She says that pride leads to their destruction, or something like that. What does that mean? I... oh, I probably said too much already. You really like to skip rope, huh, Meg? I'm sorry, but doesn't that hurt with your false legs? What? Oh, my legs? <laughs> it's okay. That don't hurt much. Besides, Mother says that once I'm finished growing, I'll forget all about my life. Bruh. Alright. Well, have fun, I guess. 
Today's sermon, Psalm 4, verse 51, the gates of heaven. Oh, that's not a thing. We got water. Can't look at any of that stuff though. The church. The church. The church. The church. What is this place? Looks like the town hall. Ooh, what's Rubber this? hose. Not from here. Oh. We actually have to move to it. Alright. This hose should come off. Yeah. I can't get it with my bare hands. Oh, Dang it. Are you still playing? Foiled. I could Alright. Oh, here's the town sign. Uh, get it. Population 250. A metallic cross. I'll need something to fish it out with. Alright, now we're starting to see. Can we talk to that crow? Nope. Alright. Starting to see some of the puzzles here. The way appears to be blocked by vines. Uh, that might be what the gasoline is for to burn that out. The vines are thicker around the barn. Yay. All right. More vines and a scrap of paper. A newspaper article. It's an obituary. Marilyn Lee Driscoll, age 32, died Saturday. Husband, Jetta. Daughter, Carol. And son, Lawrence. Carol and Lawrence, huh? A diary. No name on it, but it looks like a little kid's writing. Here's an early entry. I wish Mommy wasn't so sad all the time. She cries a lot. She says that Daddy drinks too much. Daddy's been staying in the patch until dark. When Dad comes in, he yells at Mommy and they fight real bad. He yells a lot lately. Another entry. Mommy's up in heaven now. Dad said she had an accident and God took her away. I miss her a lot. I wish she were here to stop Dad from drinking so much. Dad smells bad when he drinks that stuff. He gets real mad and he starts hitting me. Oof. Skip a few pages here. Today was a bad day. A big rock fell out of the sky and hit our barn. Dad's real mad about that and all the vines that are growing out of it. He was gonna cut them down, but Father O'Toole wouldn't let him. Now Dad's even more mad because we're gonna lose all our pumpkins. Last entry. Prayed to Mommy again today. I hope she heard me because I had to be real quiet so Dad wouldn't find me. He was hitting me again and it hurt a lot this time. I hid out by the rock in the barn. It's warm and makes me feel good. Sometimes I can even hear music coming out of it. Ooh, poor kid. All right, nothing else we can do in here, it seems, unfortunately. And for now, we have no way past these vines, at least not from this, this direction. Not from here. All right, we need some tools. I'm getting tired. Oh, Billy, are you still playing? I All right, let's talk to these now. kids again now that we so know our name. I thought maybe you'd walked off and let me How know. am I supposed to get there? What? I win again, Billy. <laughs> you can't never, never, never beat me. Billy is You're... a loser. Billy is a Billy, loser. Billy, right? Want to play uh -huh. again? I told you that a zillion times already. Jeez. Have you figured out your name yet, Mr. No Name? My name is Max. Oh, that's a good name. Better than Mr. No Name. I used to have a goldfish named Max, but my cat ate it. He pooped orange for two days. That's disgusting. <laughs> Do your parents know you tell stories like that? <laughs> yeah, but they don't say anything. Orange poo, orange poo. Where are your parents? 
I'm not supposed to tell, says Mother. You can tell me. I'm your friend, right? No. <laughs> Denied. Billy, that angel statue over there, does it... I mean, have you ever seen it move very often? Stupid Mr. Orange Poop. You must have boogers for brains. Statues don't move. Well, this one did. It was... Well, didn't you see it? It carried me here from far away. I, I mean, it just wrapped its wings around me and... Stop it, mister. You're giving me the creeps. What game are you playing? Tic-tac-toe. Jessie's the best there is. Except when she cheats. She's the best, huh? Maybe I could play, too. Got any tips for me? Yeah, stupid head. Don't lose. I don't <laughs> have much patience for games. But I've got less patience for smart mouth kids like you. I don't mean to be rude, but what happened to your face? Me? Nothing. Mother says I'm handysome. What's wrong with your face, mister? Is Mother making you handysome too? Uh, no, Billy. I was hurt in an accident. These bandages helped me get better. All right. Thank you for your time. Wonder if it'll actually let us play and we win, like, a tool from the fur or I something. Get Your name is Jesse, right? Mm-hmm. The tic-tac-toe champion. What's your name? My name is Max. Oh, that's a dumb name. That's a rude thing to say. What would your parents say if they heard you talk like that? <laughs> They're not here. And you're not my dad. I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> Where are your parents? They're all in. Jesse, shut up. He's a grown-up. You know Mother's rule. What's Mother's rule? We... We aren't supposed to talk about our folks. If we do, we'll be put in... in the patch. Ooh, the patch. Tell me about the pumpkin patch, Jesse. What's so special about it? No one goes in there. Unless they were bad, like Maria. It's a bad, bad place. Hmm. I'm starting to see a through line here, because there was supposedly some pumpkins or a pumpkin patch on the um, the stained glass windows from the last zone. And there was that kid in the last zone who got in trouble for eating pumpkin pie or something like that. I wonder if pumpkins are going to end up being super important or something. What game are you playing? Tic-tac-toe. Want to play? I'm the best there is. Can you tell me how to play? Well, you put an X and I put down an O. And the box is here. The idea is to get three across. Or up and down. Or diagonal. If you do that, you win. I don't mean to be rude, but what happened to your face? Huh? Oh, that. Mother did this. Aren't I pretty? I hope to be as pretty as Mother when I grow up. Don't you think I'm pretty? Sure. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> You're very, very pretty, Jesse. My god, what's going on here? Alright, let's play. Let's play a game. Then we'll see if you're as good as you say. <laughs> you probably think you're smart, but you're just a big, stupid boy. God, it's been... A simple kid's game. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, he says. Uh, it has been forever since I played, but I think he is to control. The center, if I remember. At the very least, I can, yeah, I can make it a draw. <laughs> All right. Yep, as expected. I can do this all day, kid. Ah 
Ah, an opening. I guess you're not as good as you thought, Jesse. <laughs> I let you win, because you're new in town. You're pretty smart, though, for a boy. I've only been beaten a couple of times before, but that's because there were all girls. Girls are a lot smarter than boys. Nuh-uh. Girls is stupider. Shut up, Billy, you little retard. Ooh, she used the R word. Which girls have beaten you? Meg and Eileen. They're her bestest friends. All right. Well, that was fun. You can pig boogers on this game. Hey, not fair. All right, let's see what else there is to do and look at. Wow, that's even getting into the sewers there. A big ugly duck. We let's go right on the duck. <laughs> Oh, I was kind of hoping it would break. A spring pig. Cute. There we go. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of sick horse? Fun. I should ride the rest. Oh, we just took the whole thing, huh? Now I have a spring pig. Joy. No. All right. That won't solve. Oh, I don't know what we're going to do with that. I don't suppose we can use that as a lever to... Uh, oh. A little broken piece of concrete there. I don't suppose we can use this to uh, cut through that rubber hose. No. What was I thinking? Nope. All right. Uh, I I suppose let's talk to these kids here. These kids seem happy anyway. These kids. Well, can we not talk to them? These kids. I guess not. All right then. Uh, I guess we should just start investigating the buildings for now. Let's start with the church. All the children are poor and sickness and in health until death be your heart. What does it mean? All right, so he's having flashbacks to his marriage, I guess. Files here. And this is a piece about the local preacher, a Reverend O'Toole. The Reverend claimed that the comet was the eye of God, a sign of heavenly anger towards the townspeople. Local man questioned in wife's death. Says that Marilyn Driscoll was found in her bathtub, both wrists cut. The police questioned the husband Jedda as a matter of standard procedure. Hmm. I think that was the uh, the couple from the journal. Understandable, seeking a way out of an abusive relationship with a drunk alcoholic. Come on, get out of there! All right. The stained glass windows make me feel like kneeling. Alright, let's see what's up in here. Oh, can't look up. The stained glass windows make me feel like kneeling. Alright. A bell. I'll bet it hasn't called anyone to church in a long time. A bell. Okay. Looks like they're... Excuse me. Excuse An old church organ. Oh, I wonder An old we cannot play it at this time. Alright, so there wasn't really much in here other than mom committed suicide. So let's continue onward and investigate the city hall. Surely they have a facilities department that has pools, right? Or not. Uh, there are some files here. Alright, let's check these files out then. An article about a new star in the sky. Many people saw this star, but an astronomer claims that the star is actually a comet. 
article about the annual town pumpkin fair. It's supposed to be the biggest yet. Let me know when it starts. Interesting news. Seems that a comet altered its path and headed for Earth. The eye of God lights up the night sky. I doubt the circus will be coming to this town anytime soon. I can't help but think just because of my... Just because of seeing other, you know, psychological horror thrillers like this, I can't help but think that, like, everything he's experiencing here, like, it's all a delusion, probably. But, like, in this delusion are bits and pieces of his own memory and history. So, you know, maybe he's the kid from that... He's the real kid from that journal or something, you know? Okay. Oh, we need to... I wonder if we can ask that kid if we can borrow... I kind of wish there was a run. Not fair. Man, but... <laughs> that part of the statue no but uh since we're friends I wonder if we can borrow his fishing rod to fish that piece of metal out your name's Timmy that's right I've read some newspapers and they mention a reverend O'Toole is he a relative of yours yes He's my father. Oh. Okay, at least we got some new dialogue. I'd like to speak with your father. Is he close by? Sort of, but Mother said never to speak about it. Why? I'm sorry. I just can't talk about it, or I'll get in trouble. What kind of trouble? I'll be punished like Maria was. I don't want to go to the patch. Punished? You mean in that pumpkin patch on the other side of town? Yes. Can we talk about something else? I'm getting scared. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to upset you. Alright, so we can't take his uh, fishing rod, and we can't go any further south, so. Uh, ma maybe when we call him all the mass, then we steal his, fish his fishing rod. Alright, let's see. Does she have any dialogue? You're Meg, right? Yeah, you can call me Pig Lake. Uh. Hey, Meg. I beat Jessie at tic-tac-toe. She said that you beat her once, too. Ha! Huh. I beat her more than once. I beat her four times. Four times? You must be pretty good. Thanks. Bye. Congrats on your winnings, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we can't talk to the kids on the swing. We investigated. City Hall, and unless there's a way into the back City Hall, which I guess I'll check right now. Nope, I guess there's something invisible blocking the path. Alright, so I guess we go south now. And try to. Well, first we can try to get in here. Maybe that'll trigger dialogue with the uh, kids. Run down old house. Hmm. This door is locked. Alright, so we probably have to talk to that guy to get in the other door, I assume. Fire hydrant? Nope, not important. Hello there, young man. His face looks like it's melting. Hi. What's your name? Monty Dodd. What's your name? My name is Max. Oh, I got a cousin named Max. You have the same name as his. But you're not my cousin? I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Um, I have a ball. I can bounce it. That sure is a nice ball. I used to have one just like it. Really? This one's mine. Uh, all right. Hmm. This door is locked. All right. So both doors are locked. I don't suppose we can use this. Uh, no. Maybe <laughs> something else. Bash through the door with the uh, peg, but nope. All right. I guess all that's left is the graveyard for now. 
Flashback. Unexplained child deaths worldwide. Experts are baffled as to the cause of these deaths, which leaves us to wonder, can anyone put a stop to the loss of our children? I wish I understood. A little there. A kid's got an extra arm. <laughs> What's your name? What to tell you, dumbass? Nothing. Certainly nothing worth getting dunked in the river over, don't you think? Jeez, mister, don't get all bent out of shape. I was just kidding. My name's Dennis O'Toole. What's yours? Uh, my name is Max. Hmm, that figures. What a stupid name. The newspapers mentioned a Reverend O'Toole. Are you related to him? Yeah, he's my old man. I'd like to speak to your father. Is he close by? No, <laughs> he's really close, but you can't talk to him. Why not? Because only mother's allowed to. He's in the graveyard, isn't he? As like, you know, a corpse. <laughs> only mother? You mean you're not allowed to see your own father? Yep. Mother says that they got to learn about raising us kids, so we should leave them alone. Alone where? Hmm. How dumb do you think I am? I ain't no squealer. Is that your father's church across town? Uh-huh. That's St. Michael's church. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Mother took care of them. In fact, I'd watch my step if I were you. After all, you're the only adult in town, and Mother don't like adults. Watch my step? I've had enough of you and your little threats, kid. Whoa, calm down, mister. I was just telling you to be careful, that's all. Uh-huh. All right, what was that? Nope, that's just a blowing piece of paper. C. Driscoll, missed dearly by mother. Headstone, it says Mike N. <laughs> killed by tainted meat. All right, what else we got here? Can we not read these? I guess not. Uh, no, we can't even read that one. All right. This kid's just a little more than a baby. Hi there. What's your name, kid? Derwick, what's yours? My name is Max. Hi, Max. I'm Derwick. Uh, yes, I know. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? I don't know. I thought that guy was going to come and beat me up or something just the way he ran straight up to me. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Because Dennis says so. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> Dennis, huh? Are you Dennis? Poor misshapen kid. What's your Dennis? name? Well, since all the adults went away, everyone calls me Lumpy. Do you have another name? A real name? Well, my real name is Larry, but no one calls me that anymore. What's your name, mister? My name is Max. It's not as cool as my name, but it's okay. I guess that means you ain't a stranger no more, so I can talk to you, right? Uh, right. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Mother says we're not supposed to talk to anyone about that. Especially you big people. Sorry. I read the town newspapers and saw some articles about a man named Jetta Driscoll. Was he your father? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear about your mom. But if she's dead, who is this mother that you keep talking about? She's my new mom, and she promised me that she won't ever go away. How can she promise that? I mean, we all, uh, go away. No, uh Mother said we'll live forever after she's finished with us. All right, so that's the kid that was beaten by his father. The alcoholic. I guess there's one person left. At least there's, oh, there's two people. There's another one hiding here. But at least we got a tool shed here that we should be able to break into and, 
get some tools. Her, her legs are like tree roots. Hello, young lady. What's your name? Eileen Daly. What's yours? My name is Max. That's a nice name. A little polite kid for once. I think she's one of the... I think, isn't she one of the ones that also beat the uh, girl at um, Crisscross or X's and old, whatever the game is? I can't remember. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? They just sort of, well, they just went away. Away? To where? They left you kids all alone? Oh, we're not alone. Mother is here to take care of us. Where is your mother? I'd really like to talk to her. Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Max, but we're not supposed to tell no one. Why not? Because Mother doesn't want to be disturbed while she's resting. Huh. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Our leader, Dennis, likes to play hide and go seek here. Do you play tic-tac-toe with Jessie? Yeah, she thinks she's the best, but I beat her seven times. Uh, can we play hide and go seek? Can I play a game of hide and seek with you? You'd have to ask Dennis, but I'd rather not play right now. I was just going to plant my pretty pumpkins. You like pumpkins, huh? Mm-hmm. I like the pretty orange color. Orange, huh? That reminds me of a story that Billy told me. Oh, yuck. Did he tell you that awful cat story? That's gross, huh? Yeah. Just like Billy. <laughs> All right, goodbye, thank you. So this must be Dennis. All right, in the meantime, let's... Let's break in here and see what we can uh, pick up. Ooh, crowbar. A crowbar. Should come in handy. There we go. Anything else we can look at? Apparently not. I do want to explore a little before we... Uh, have to do this hide and seek. Another headstone. Chad F. Awaiting zombification. What? <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. Yuck! A decaying corpse. What a god awful stench! Is that mother? Is that where she's resting? Can we desecrate the corpse? That's. Okay. Nope, we have morals, apparently. Alright. Man, where are you supposed to hide? Maybe in there, because then they they don't go in there? Let's see if we, anyone knows about this corpse. Everyone calls you Lumpy. Yes. Uh, we... Nope. Alright. Your name's Eileen, right? Mm-hmm. Did you forget already? Nope, no one wants to talk about the corpse, apparently. The boy's face is mottled and leafy. Hi there. What's your name, kid? My name's Marcus. Marcus Williams. What's yours? Oh, the pastor's, or the reverend's kid must be Dennis, son. My name is Max. Hi, Max. I guess you're not a stranger anymore. I haven't... Mother Oops. made him go away. Away? To where? Sorry, mister, but I'm not allowed to tell you. I accidentally clicked through that. I thought I clicked on the wrong thing. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Because Dennis likes it here. Bye. Uh... Alright. Too far away. Shh. Oh, I can't <laughs> go around this tombstone. Your name is Dennis O'Toole, right? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Because we like it here. The other little kids are too chicken to play here. Why? What do you play? They play kid games like tic-tac-toe. We play hide-and-go-seek. And we're the best. Heck, we even have a prize you can win. What makes you think you're the best? Because we have a secret weapon. Really? What is it? If I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret. A prize for winning, huh? 
What is it? The keys to the town store. There's lots of cool stuff inside. Our fort, our candy, everything. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. Could you tell me the rules? Yeah. It's so simple, even you can play. You cover your eyes and count to ten. We'll all go hide, and then you try to find us. If you find any of us, we go back to base. The angel at the center of town. If you can find all of us, you get the key. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Ha! Huh. You say that now, but just wait until you try to find us. All right, let's play, kid. Can I play a game of hide and seek with you? Yeah, if you really want to show everyone what a big fat loser you are. That's it, big mouth. You'd better pray that I don't find you. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I guess they are just hidden in the cemetery. Which is what I thought they would be, but... Eh. Is that a thing? No. No, that's a thing. Can't read any Another of these. Headstone. Other than Chad, who's awaiting his zombification. Kind of curious to see how well they'll actually be hidden. Oh, hey, we can go this way. Oh my god, she's half warm. Hey, some people are into that. Alright. So it looks like we lay a plank down there to get across, maybe. Or we or we get there when we open up that bridge. Alright. Scared me that the game was going to crash or something. Alright. I see you. There's probably someone under there. It's probably the secret weapon. Too far away. There you are. All right. At least there's no time limit on this, at least as far as I can tell. I suppose I better keep an eye out in the bushes and such. We should be able to use that throw bar now. No. Really? No, but... What was I thinking? Really? This hose should come off. I can't get it with my bare hands. Oh. Alright. Let's just walk this way a little bit. I presume we can't use the crowbar. No, they're. Nope. Alright. Oh, yeah, we should check the building just in case someone's hiding in there. I can see Larry hiding in here. Yeah. Aha! Nope, it wasn't Larry. It was that other kid. Alright, so that's, what, two out of five, I think? See if we get any dialogue for finding them. Your name's Marcus, right? Uh-huh. Nope. Not there, although this kid, what's she doing now? Don't go 
goes there, Billy. I'll win in two moves if you do. It looks like you no, finally got to plant your either. seeds, huh? Boy, yeah, it was worth being found. Have you finished planting yet? Nope. I have to be careful, so I'm taking my time to do it right. I want these to grow up nice and big, just like the ones in the pumpkin patch. Alright, so I guess eventually she'll be done and we get her shovel. At least that's what I'm coming away with here. Alright, I see you, kid. Man, he must not have a nose if he's hiding in a barrel full of rotten fish. There you are. <laughs> Just breaks the barrel. Okay, are you really gonna make me watch? There we go. Alright, let's make sure no one's on the inside. Damn, useless crap. And I was so sure that I would find some clues in here. Oh, all the stuff behind the glass. Can we... No, the crow... Well, that would hurt. That's not gonna... Ha nope. Can't just mash out the, uh... Mash out the window and take stuff. Alright. There you are. Too far away. Ha! All right, so that's four kids. Let's see, are any of the new ones doing anything interesting around the, uh, the angel now? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's see what's down here then. Somebody needs a. Oh, they're not hiding under there. Can I have your thing yet? Isn't Dennis your brother? Yes, but I don't like him. He's mean to me. Mean? How is he mean to you? He won't let me play hide and go seek with him and his friends. He says I'm just a stupid little kid. All right. Well, bye. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta find Dennis. I'm like almost certain he's gonna be in the uh, the city hall here. Cause I mean, what other reason would there be for this, right? I can't know. That's ah. no, they're. All right. Sure seems like a secret weapon to me, a thing that grown-ups can't get into, apparently. Oh, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. We can take another walk through town. Cheater! You're cheating, Jesse. You just wait till Ugh, I'm big and moldy. strong, then I'll beat you at every game. Lemonade again. I don't see him in any of the trees out there. Where are you, kid? Maybe there's... Do I have to use the mask to bring him out? A decaying corpse. Do we just chuck the crowbar at the, uh... The, uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh... Oh, God, what's in the bell? Do we just chuck the crowbar at the bell? Fuck, 
Alright, let's see. Can we use the crowbar to... Maybe we can get some wood planks. For now, let's see. Now a crowbar. Now what? Come on. Nope. Hmm. Probably what we need the key to get into. Hey, you're Marty, right? Mm-hmm. You remember things good. Um, M-A-R-T-Y. But my sister calls me Mushhead. Why does your sister call you Mushhead? Because she says my head looks like I got put in on black dog. Well, that's a rotten thing to say. Yeah, she's been pretty mean lately. M-E-E-N. But she wasn't always mean to you, right? No, but her legs have been bothering her. Whenever they hurt, she calls me names. What's wrong with her legs, Marty? Well, I'm not about to talk about it. But since my started changing us, weird things happen. First my face, and then my legs kind of shriveled up. Uh-uh. What? What's wrong? No, I can't. I hear Mother starting to wake up. If she hits me, I'll, I'll get put in the patch. What's so bad about that? I don't... No, I don't want to talk about this anymore. But Marty, I... All right, mother's starting to wake up, huh? Is the corpse gonna move? Is that mother? I'm gonna be real disappointed if that's not mother. A decaying. Nope. All right. Let's see, what else is there to are there any planks we can get? Then I'll beat you at every game. Oh, can we grab the... Oh. I was thinking maybe we could grab the wood. Was this Meg? Yeah, alright. No new dialogue with her, though. Oh, maybe we can get into the school now that we have the crowbar. No. There we go. Uh, can't pick up any of the wood, but... My god, so many corpses. It's horrible. There you are, kid. There you are. My god, what kind of hiding place is this? Guess I was wrong about his hiding place. But we should be able to get the key now. Hopefully that will really open things up. Decayed bodies? Are these the parents? If I asked the kids directly, it might upset them. That's a good guess. Decayed bodies? Are these the parents? If I asked the kids directly, it might upset them. Anything else we can look at besides the bodies? Can we look at anything? Nope. All right. Did we lose our crowbar? We did. No. Okay, I guess we have no further use for the crowbar ever again. <laughs> Alright, kid, give me my damn prize. Huh, that wasn't so tough. I found everyone in one fair and square. Now give me the key to the store. You big goat! You forgot about our secret weapon! I should have known you would cheat. What kind of crap are you trying to pull? Hey, don't get upset, mister. I told you the rules, I told you about the secret weapon, and you didn't win. What are you talking about? I found all of you. <laughs> you didn't find all of us. What? You didn't find Carol. She's our secret weapon. <laughs> She's the best there is at this game. She's been hiding a long time. God damn it. She's the kid across the river, isn't she? Uh... Alright, no new dialogue with her. You, what do you know about Carol? Dennis said that Carol is the secret weapon in this game. Who is she? I don't know. I haven't seen Carol for a long time, 
But you never know with my rotten brother. He's always trying to trick someone. That's why I never play with him. I'd rather be fishing. All right. I assume we can't use this. On what was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll get in there after we find Carol. In order to find Carol. Don't tell me. All right. This better not be as stupid as I think. Oh, hey. We got our shovel now. I win again, Billy. You can't never, never, never beat me. Dennis said that Billy Carol is the loser. secret weapon Billy in this game. Is loser. Who is Wanna she? Wanna play again? <laughs> She's our best player, mister. Well, where is she? Gee whiz, I can't tell you that. Then she wouldn't be our secret weapon. Fair enough. A I'm shovel. getting tired. Looks like oh, you're Billy, all done planting you your seeds. Playing? Can I borrow I can your shovel hardly now? Tell. Go ahead, so I'm all done. Mother will be so I proud of me when she wakes up. Alright, can we take your bucket too? Nope. I'm sure I can do something with the tired. shovel. I oh, did Billy, see some mounds of dirt. I, but I don't know if I can interact with so them. Could be also how we get the rubber hose too. First, I wanted to. Now I have a, a shovel. Oh. I'd really. Yeah, okay. I didn't think so, but figured I gotta try. And while I'm over here, I gotta try this stupid thing, which has kind of been in the back of my mind the entire time. But I didn't want to believe it was the solution. Oh my god, it's. Oh my. Adventure game logic, I want. Although that's. This is somehow worse than what I was imagining. <laughs> I was imagining he'd take it and he'd, like, you know, bounce on it like a pogo stick or something. He'd use that to bounce over the gap. And instead, he uses it as a stepping stone that he's somehow able to jump off of and get back up on top of the bridge. Alright. A big, overgrown pumpkin patch. It is pumpkins. Are you Carol? This girl's eyes are missing. Was she in some sort of accident? Uh, excuse me, little girl, but could I talk to you for a second? Sure, mister. I don't get many visitors. May I ask your name? My name is Maria. Maria Santiago. Where are we? What's the name of this town? There is no town. Not anymore. What do you mean, not anymore? There was a town before Mother got here. People were happy. Everything was fine. Before your mother came to town? What do you mean? You're new here. You just don't understand. No, I don't understand. You're only confusing me more. Could you explain it to me? Start at the beginning? I'm sorry. If you want to really understand what's going on, I think that there's lots of newspapers and stuff in the town hall. But I haven't seen one. Come back in a little while and we'll talk some more. I'd show you the way to the town hall, but my eyes... I've read the old newspapers in the town hall, Maria. Oh, good. You found it. What do you want to talk about now? So I think Maria, if I remember right, is the one who was exiled to the pumpkin patch by Mother. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are they? Where are your parents? I'm sorry, but Mother has forbidden us to talk about them. I keep hearing about Mother, but it doesn't sound like she's anyone's real mother. Who is this person? She's resting right now, otherwise I wouldn't speak to you. You're right though, she isn't anyone's real mother. She's really... <gasps> what is it, Maria? I think she's waking up. I can't talk anymore. Mother will hear me and get awful mad. But... Oh, damn it. Forbidden? But why? Why can't you talk about your parents? Please don't be mad. I'd tell you if I could. It's just that... Well... I'll be punished again if I do. Punished? How? The pumpkin patch. She'll have me put in the pumpkin patch again. It's a terrible place. 
it doesn't look so bad from here. Once you're inside, everything turns bad. You've been in there before? Yes. The others dragged me in there. The other children? They did as they were told. Mother wanted to teach me a lesson. Sounds like Mother can't do her own dirty work. What lesson, Maria? Not to look for our parents. Mother said we should never, ever do that. But I was too curious. Mother saw me. She told the other kids that I was bad. Then she made them put me in the patch. I don't remember much. Just those nasty birds. Black wings. They pegged at my eyes. It hurt a lot. But when the birds were done, Mother took the pain away. But that, that, that's horrendous. How could she do such a thing to a child? It's okay. It's not so bad now. I'm kind of used to it. Anyway, once Mother wakes up, everything will be better. Okay? What are you... Please. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've already said too much. The newspapers mentioned a preacher named O'Toole. Did you know him? Yes. He was real scared about the comet. I remember him saying at church that God was mad about the pumpkins and that he was going to punish us for taking advantage of the land. A comet. Is that what happened here? Did the comet somehow make the plants around here grow so wild? Mother told us that the comet was a sign of her coming. A sign that we were special children. Alright, well thanks Maria. That's very helpful. Hmm. The gate has a combination lock. Alright, how many digits? I'll need the right combination to open this. Now, let's see. All right, we're looking for a three-digit combination. Nope. Not from here. We got a C scythe over there. Well, this old junker isn't going anywhere. I like how we can't just use the shovel to. What's the point? Break nope. off the lock, you know, like a re or hop over the fence like a real person. But all right, three-digit combination, huh? <laughs> Three-digit combination. I'll have to look through all the logs again. I don't think we've been able to talk to these kids yet. These kids seem happy anyway. The shovel. No, they're mo- nope. Can't beat the kids with the shovel. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's see here. Uh, oh, right. I know what I was going to do now. Need the a shovel. shovel. That's not- Nope, we still can't- Use that on the rubber or on the hose. Too far away. How am oh, I? Come on. A shovel. Uh, An article about. Article about the. Nope. Interesting. Nope. Okay, that told me. Nothing. Oh. 451. There's a combination right in front of me. <coughs> At least that's my bet. I guess we'll see now. I thought maybe he walked off and let me win. All right. Let's hop over this bridge again. This is gonna be real annoying if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'll need the right combination to open this. Now, let's see. Oh. There we go. Aha! I guess it's time to check out this patch. Alright, let's arm ourselves with another weapon first. Slice and dice, baby. I'm at section, huh? Well, this old junker isn't going anywhere. Well, this old junk. All right. Uh oh.
Okay, well that's not too bad. Ah, get out of here. So this is what combat's like in the game. There we go. Get out of here. Alright. So what the hell is making that noise? There we go. Get out of here. So they must have hung her on that then, right? The mobilizer during the. Uh... <gasps> oh, damn, he keeps damn, he keeps damn, he keeps coming, damn, he keeps damn, he keeps damn, he keeps coming. There must be another way. Oh, oh. Oh, thank fucking God. I'm gonna save here. Load game. Save game. God, that would have been... Thank God for the developers. <laughs> that would have been game. terrible if I made... Got all the way there. And then, uh... Maybe that's what we use the gas for. Alright, can we take the scythe out of the, uh... Maybe we can finally cut the, uh... Oh. Alright. Well, this is the only way forward, as far as I can tell. Slice and dice, baby. So maybe we cut the pumpkins? Oh, the... At least the birds don't come back, so they're generous in that regard. Actually, the whole thing is very generous. I think they realize that... You know, your average adventure gamer might not be into combat so much, which is probably why it's so forgiving. Ah, I can't hit it from here. Yeah, I think we just gotta... There we go, hit the pumpkins. Ah, I can't... Come on. Bring around the rosy. How can you not hit the pumpkin from there? You're right next to it. Hey, there's a comet. Alright. Let's see if the pumpkins are still dead. Honestly, that's probably my biggest complaint about this game in general so far, is just the pathing issues that the uh, that Max here has. It's like, there, you see, he's right next to the pumpkin, yet somehow he can't hit it. Okay, they are very, very generous with the, uh... Ah, 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 can't hit it from here. Alright. Oh. Okay, so he's gotta be, like... Uh, I wonder if you're supposed to die here, too, maybe, but... Alright, we just have one pumpkin. I like how Max also isn't questioning uh, the fact that he's reviving thanks to the vines. Alright. I wonder if that heart sound is what indicates combat. Like, as if the weapon isn't enough. Ah, I can't hit it from here. There we go. Right. There we go. Got him. I guess he thought it was better to burn up than fade away. Ooh. This rock must be the source of all the monstrous plant life. It appears metallic. All right, time for War of the Worlds moment. Well, this isn't oh. working. Can't use the shovel on this it. This rock must be the source of all the monstrous plant life. It appears metallic. Well, if it's metallic, this looks like some sort of generator almost. An old gas powered generator. Now we know what we need the gas for. Must be out of gas. Alright. Alright, now this area is opening up.
Are you mother? What a huge, disgusting nightmare. So you finally arrived. I suppose it was inevitable. Yet, I hoped that the pumpkin patch would deter your progress. Apparently not. I must admit that I'm intrigued as to how you arrived here. I was certain I'd weeded out your kind before sleep overtook me. Meat secretions hang in the air around your body. They offend my senses. My god, what are you? I am beyond your understanding, human. However, you may call me what the children do. Mother. Yeah, no. Although it looks like I don't have a choice. <laughs> Mother? I should call you what you are. Nothing but a disease. Mind your tongue, human. I am more parent to these seedlings than you or anyone else could be. All right, so some sort of plant-based alien life. Hey, could you not stand in like the middle of her tentacle ring there? These aren't your seedlings, they're children. Flesh and blood, don't you see that? I see, and it disgusts me. Animal sacks filled with loose cells. It's a wonder you don't burst. What? An inferior vessel for the spirits of these children. But why have you done this? The children were in danger. Danger from what? You've done more harm than... Than what? You? <laughs> the mate called Jedi showed me how harmful your kind can be. As did the one called Preacher. Okay, so we know Jetta abused his wife and kids when he was an alcoholic. But what did the Preacher do? I'm almost scared to ask, because there's obviously a history between priests, preachers, and such, and children, small children, but... Jetta, I saw his name on the pumpkin patch sign. What does he have to do with all this? He made me see the evil of your kind. How destructive you are. Jedha preyed upon his own child, making her suffer and die. The entire town turned a blind eye to Jedha's crimes, and I watched. The people's vicious disregard for Carol's safety was no less a crime than her father's. So you killed them? Their own inner chaos would have destroyed them eventually. I only expedited the event. Set things in order. Okay. Why were you so concerned about Carol? She talked to me when no one would listen. I tried to communicate with them, but Carol's voice was like music to me. She was my favorite, and I failed her. Okay, so Larry had a sister named Carol. Alright. Now what did the preacher do? I'm afraid to ask. How does the preacher figure into all of this? What could he possibly have done? He was a superstitious fool. He spread Paranoia and fear swaying the others away from rational thought. The humans put their trust and faith in him and follow. When the preacher assured them that Jetta wasn't a real threat to Carol, they listened. If you're as omnipotent as you seem to think you are, then why haven't you weeded me out also? In due time, little meat. For now you are of little consequence to me. My name is Max, not Meat. Your name is meaningless. An animal noise. And you are nothing more than a bag of meat. 
you truly feel that way, then why have you spared the children? Aren't they meat too? Yes, and you have seen them bickering and divided. Yet, they are not beyond hope. The children still have some innocence, which with some reconstructing on the cellular level, I will cultivate in order to give them salvation. And you think that you can offer them salvation? What conceit! It is not conceit! After I complete their transformation, the children will be one with me forever. That is their salvation. Transforming them into simple plants? You call that salvation? Simple plants! Insulin meat! You know what your problem is. You lack structure. The cells in your body are practically floating away. It makes me sick to look at you. Everything around you is in chaos. My form is superior in every way to your weak flesh. Oh, this is getting really long-winded from her. All right, well, hopefully this is the last little bit, because I want to say my bit, too. If my flesh is so weak, then why are you afraid of me? Afraid of you? <laughs> you overestimate yourself. I think you're the one who overestimates yourself, you perverse, bloated egomaniac! You impudent wretch! <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got to kill that diseased monster before it kills the children. All right. The vines are thicker around the barn. And we. What uh... a piece of junk! Probably only good for spare parts. A shop. Oh. Uh. All right. Let's see what spare parts we can get then. Oh, Carol. It looks like a jumper cable. Might be useful. Alright, we'll take it. <laughs> what a piece of junk. Alright, so Carol. They said Carol was the one who's been hiding for a long time, right? So that must be her body in the crypt. Now that we kind of have some information here. So I don't... <sighs> the situation is more morally gray than I think it appears on the surface. One... Uh, she keeps talking about herself floating away. She's kind of right about that, because I remember reading an article a long time ago about how each person basically has, like, a spear around them with, like, bacteria that's kind of unique to them, and you can identify someone with the right... Obviously, you need a scientific lab for it, but you could take a sample of that air and all the associated bacteria and cellular debris floating around it and basically identify someone based on that, because everyone has their own kind of unique file signature. Also, the, uh, thank God the preacher wasn't quite as bad as what I was fearing he'd be, but, uh, yeah, this insular little town seems, uh, a bad place, so, yeah, all the parents are bad. Certainly Jetta probably. I, I'm not gonna feel any remorse over his death. The others could have been saved, maybe, but... You're Maria, right? That's right. Maria Santiago. Yes. I... I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human! Don't you understand what she's... Mother is good. Mother is the way. Mother protects us from meat who will harm us. The meat must be killed so that the seedlings may grow. We are all seedlings. Okay, yeah, she's probably using her genetic engineering of all these kids to slowly brainwash them. Meat? What are you... Maria? What's wrong with you? It's too late, Max. She's strong again. As strong as before. When she took all the adults, I... 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 I can't think straight. I... I... Maria's safe now. They're all safe. Soon will the sickness 
will be gone, and my ceilings will be one with me, free to live and grow. You are sick too, sick with flesh. You need my help. Breathe deep, crude meat thing, and be cleansed. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to get any more conversations with the kids now. Alright. So can we carry the corpse back to, uh... A decaying... Is there anything in here that would tell us? A decaying... Uh... A shovel. Jumper. Nope. Oh. Right, so how are we going to see Driscoll, missed dearly by mother? Oh, see Carol. A shovel. How am I supposed? To, how am I supposed? To... Not from here. Okay, so that wasn't the corpse in there. It's the corpse in the ground. And now we're just desecrating graves. Oh my god. This decayed child must be Carol. Dennis's secret weapon. Alright, that's the shovel gone. Can we talk to her? <laughs> nope. I see that you and Carol are, um, very close. Yeah, I'm so happy she's back. Thanks for helping me find her. Uh, sure, I guess. I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she... Mother is good. Mother's the way. She protects us from the meat who would harm us. The meat must be killed so that the seedlings can grow. We're all Mother's seedlings. Seedlings? But you're a child, a human child. I'm lonely, mister. Everyone in my family is gone except me. Mother is gonna make it all better. Better? Don't you know what that means? You'll be gone too. She's- Uh-uh, you're me. Just like mother said you would be. Go away. I wouldn't get All right, me. well, I want never, my damn never, prize. Never <laughs> so I can get my tools. Hey, those grew fast. Wanna play again? All right, I found Carol. Pay up. I'm getting tired. Oh, Billy, are you still playing? I couldn't. Oh, you twisted little freak! So I dug up your secret me. weapon. Satisfied? Now hand away. over the keys. Oh man, you suck! Here's your damn keys. Thanks, Dennis. I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she... Mother is good. Mother is the way. She protects us from the meat who would harm us. The meat must be killed so that the seedlings can grow. We're all mother's seedlings. Seedlings? But you're a child. A human child. Shut up, mister. I know what she's doing and I don't care. Mother was right. She said you adults would try to ruin things. I don't want to talk to you anymore, so you just leave me alone, or I'll shoot you with my slingshot! Alright. Your name's Derek, right? Uh-huh. That pumpkin patch is dangerous. Those birds almost gouged my eyes out. They, they could have killed me. Really? I'm never going in there. Well, it's safe now. I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she... Mother's good. Mother's the way. She protects us from the meat who'd harm us. The meat must be killed so that the seedlings can grow. We're all mother seedlings. Seedlings? But you're a child. A human child. Mother's gonna let me be a sugar cane. I'll be the yummiest of everyone. But Derek, you... <laughs> no, you're a bad man. You're gonna ruin everything. Leave me alone. 
want. I mean, it'd be one thing if that's what they truly want, but I don't... I don't trust that it's what they truly want. It's kind of hard to trust that when they're being altered on the cellular level. These kids seem... Alright, whatever. I wanna... Let me get in the, the house. They'll probably have more dead bodies in it, but... There we go. Looks like someone made a fort out of cardboard boxes. Looks like someone made... Alright. Looks like someone made a fort... Oh, nope, that's on us. There's a book. Tic-tac-toe. Jumper. No, I don't... Alright. Is that... Looks like someone made a fort out of cardboard boxes. Is that all we can do? Is look at it? There's gotta be something in it. Looks like someone made a fort out of... Looks like... Looks like someone made... Looks like... Okay, this is not... We'll try going in the other door. I don't think it'll... Change anything, but... I was really hoping there'd actually be, like, a tool in there. Hmm. Jumper. Right. The Alright, and now the key is removed from our... Oh, okay, this is a separate room. Okay, good. So this is the stash. An empty old gas can. Alright, just the thing we need. I doubt the circus will be coming to this town anytime soon. There are some files here. There we go, let's read the files. Hmm, looks like a comet actually hit ground in this town. Causing a landslide to block Route 30, falling bridges, power failures, and the rest of the page is burnt away. Another article. Reverend O'Toole sworn in as interim mayor. The reverend made it illegal to hamper the growth of the vines, saying that the people should accept punishment for their sins of pride and greed. So that must have been the, um, the creature influencing Reverend O'Toole to quote-unquote speed up their destruction. Due to harsh economic conditions, this will be the final edition of The Observer. There's something else here. Charges of child abuse filed against Jetta Driscoll have been dropped. Huh. Just think, if they had actually pursued those charges, this town would have been saved. Alright, we got the gas can. What are we missing? So we need to take this hose with us. This hose should come off. Can't get it with my bare hands. Jumper, an empty old. No good. Nope. Uh. Jumper. No good. A metallic cross. I'll need something to fish it out with. Not the jumper cables, I'm sure. Oh, hey, a kid. Or a kid. I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she... Mother is good. Mother is the way. She protects us from the meat who would harm us. The meat must be killed so that the seedlings can grow. We're all Mother's seedlings. Meat? That's horrible! Mother says I can be a lily pad and float down the creek, just like my boats. No, Marcus, I understand that you want to- You don't understand. Mother was right. You just want to ruin everything. Go away! Alright, can we fish this out jumper with cables. the jumper cables, maybe? Now what? Yeah, I didn't think so. I can't. I really think we need that fishing rod. Or we gotta ring the bell somehow. Oh, Billy, are you still playing? I could hardly tell. It's so easy to keep. If only we could take the planks or, you know, throw something. Or problem solve in some fashion. 
Can I have your fishing rod, please? That pumpkin patch is dangerous. Those birds almost gouged my eyes out. They, they could have killed me. That's why I'm never going in there. I'll stay out here where it's safe. I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she... Mother is good. Mother is the way. She protects us all from the meat who'd harm us. The meat must be destroyed so that the seedlings can grow. We're all Mother's seedlings. Seedlings? But you're a child. A human child. Don't be silly. Mother's going to make us better like God told her to. Better? But how? She's going to make me a lily pad like Marcus. That way I can be with the fish. My God, that's horrible. Oh, you're no fun at all. Go away. <laughs> I like how she she decries humans for, you know, specifically following the pastor and his uh, him using his faith to say, oh yeah, everything's fine. Just ignore the child abuse that's going on. But then she's using these kids' faith to do the same damn thing. Right. All right, we need something to pry off the. Anything in here? Oop. I hope that didn't start anything. Uh, I don't see anything at the moment. It looks like the statue from the tower. Gates of heaven, huh? Okay, we read that already. Yes, have a newspaper there randomly, I think. Uh, let's see. An old, an old. We can't play that. A bell. The stained glass windows make me feel like kneeling. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else. Alright, let's see. So at least the one kid is kind of resisting because she I think she knows. She has a clue what's going on. She knows it's wrong. Which, that's, that's to me what is kind of my biggest indicator that what's happening to these kids may not necessarily be consensual. You know, that they're being chained without their knowledge. Like, it kind of with their knowledge, but also without their knowledge. Oh, are you still playing? I couldn't hardly tell. It was so easy to beat you. I There's gotta be something else we can pick up. Because we still gotta get that rubber hose. Once we have that, I think I'm everything else will kind of fall into oh, place. Ugh, moldy so lemonade. Playing? Unfit to drink. I could hardly tell. It was so easy to beat you. I thought maybe you walked off and let me... I don't suppose anything was, like, buried with her? No. Is there anything else in the store? I'm probably missing something real obvious at this point. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh okay, that's just more newspapers. Circus isn't coming to town. <laughs> I don't know what he's looking for though. That's because he says he needs he can't get it by hand. Well this old junk So like is it does he just need more leverage? Does he need something to grip with? It's not clear. Nope, we can't. 
even though that looks like a path out. Can't use that. See, it would have been nice if we could bring the scythe back, because then we could just cut it off, but that's not an option, apparently. Alright, now through the long and winding path. This is where it'd be nice if there, there was like a shortcut we could unlock so we don't have to do this every time I want to investigate this area. Especially if I come back empty-handed, then this is just such a waste of time. Alright, well we can... No... Now what? Right. <laughs> oh, do I? I'd... No, I, I think we do hook it up to there, but... Well, that would hurt. Yeah. Uh... It looks like a barn. I don't suppose there's gas. An empty old... No, it's empty. Now what? Oh, what's that? A wrench, courtesy of... Well, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Still sassy. All right. Now I think we got what we need. Now all the pieces are coming together. Maybe we won't bring the church bell after all. I thought that would be a thing, but I guess not. Oh, now we got to walk through this maze again. At least the music's pretty good, so that helps to detract from, uh... Like, I'm sure it's been the same music playing, but it's, like, not getting super old. So that helps when dealing with going through some of these, uh, longer stretches. Alright. And out we go. To the bridge, finally. Now everything will be slightly faster, even though it's the same speed. <laughs> It'll feel faster just because we're not walking through a big nothing empty. Any more dialogue with these kids, I suppose? Too far away. Don't go there, Billy. I'll. Uh, Meg. Meg told me that she's beaten you at your game four times. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, I guess Meg did beat me a few times. <laughs> I thought you were the champion, Jesse. Eileen said she whipped your butt at this game. She told me that she beat you seven times. Liar, liar, pants on fire. She only beat me four times. What about last Thursday? That didn't count. It started to rain. <laughs> did so. She put down her ex before it all washed away. Fine, but she only beat me five times, not seven. So Meg beat me four times, Eileen beat me five times, but you only beat me once, Mr. Smarty Pants. I'll beat you again if that's what you want. Yes. I... I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human! Don't you understand what she's... Mother is good. Mother is the way. Mother protects us from the meat who would harm us. The meat must be destroyed so that the seedlings can grow. We are all mother seedlings. All right, meat. Meat? What are you talking about? Don't be so silly, Max. You know, everyone knows, even my dumb brother knows. Meat, meat is bad. That's why mother is changing us. What is she doing to you? What do you mean changing? Making us into seedlings, of course. Seedlings? But you're a child. A human child. That's the whole point. Mother says she'll be able to finish the chain soon, too. Oh, I can't wait. I'll be such a pretty flower. Don't you think so, Max? Yes. Very pretty. <laughs> the 
if I put an X there, then she puts an O on top, right. and then... But if I put an X on top... I don't oh. know why, but something about their singing makes me uneasy. Hello there, kids. Creepy kids. I win again, Billy. You can't never, never, never be me. Alright. Well, that's a nice little shortcut. Alright, this isn't the way I wanted to go, though. Uh, is there anyone else we can try to talk sense into? Did I talk to you? Nope. That pumpkin patch is dangerous. Those birds almost gouged my eyes out. They they could have killed me. I told you those birds were nasty. Mother says she feeds on special pumpkin seeds and they protect her while she rests. She told us that the birds will keep us kids away till she's good and rested. I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she... Mother is good. Mother is the way. Mother protects us from the meat who will harm us. The meat must be killed so the seedlings may grow. For all mother seedlings. I wonder how long she's been indoctrinating them. Meat? What are you talking about? Mother's gonna make us just like her, and we won't be bad anymore. She says that our bodies are just lumps of sick meat, and she's gonna make us better. I can't wait. I'm gonna be a pretty rose. Why would you want to be a rose? Roses can't jump rope. They can't play tic-tac-toe. They... I want to be pretty, Max. I'm tired of being fat and ugly. All the kids make fun of me, but when Mother wakes up, I'm going to be the prettiest of them all. You'll see. But you don't need to. I thought you were nice, but you're just like everyone else. You want me to be fat and ugly forever, so you can make fun of me. You're just a sick, mean adult. Leave me alone. Ah, uh, these poor kids. Alright. Let's, uh, no. This hose should come off. Yeah, yeah we got the wrench now. Okay. There we go. Don't go there, Billy. A rusty old swing set. Oh. A rusty old swing has to These kids. Oh, it doesn't let us barge into their swinging area. Alright. No puking pig boogers on this game. I hate it. Not fair. Right, you gotta run all the way around to talk to me. whatever is Billy. Was that his name? Jesse's pretty good at that game, but I just beat her. No duh, booger face. I was sitting right here watching. Next time, maybe you should watch your mouths instead. Yes, I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human. Don't you understand what she... Mother is good. Mother is the way. She protects us from the meat. The meat's gotta be destroyed so the seedlings can grow. That's us, the seedlings. We're all Mother's seedlings. Meat? What are you talking about? Me? You? Everyone. Mother says we're all just meat, and meat is sick. It's poopy bad. She's gonna change us so we're good, like her. What is she doing to you? What do you mean, changing? You know, mister. Change meat into seedlings. Make us just like her, when she feels better. She's gonna finish what she started and make us good. Make us big and strong. Boy, I can't wait! Alright. Well, at least not all of them are refusing to talk to us. I win again. And certainly I can understand never, some never, of these, well, most of these kids can certainly have grievances towards the town in their former life, but did I talk to them all? I guess it doesn't matter at this point. We know what we need to do, and most of any remaining dialogue is either talking about the pumpkin patch and how we almost died because of the crows we easily killed, or it's going to be... Um, Excuse me. No, not or it's gonna either. be us being yeah, like, I've seen mother. She's she's bad. She's not human. And then they're just gonna be like, I wanna be this thing. 
And I don't want to be a human. You're really a bad adult. Alright. Uh, An empty old let's start with the hose. And An empty yes, can. There we go. I guess we can't take the hose back. We're done with it forever. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now we go all the way back. We should have everything we need. We're gonna hook some electricity up to that rock and see what happens. Since I think that's where this is leading to anyways. I'm thinking what's gonna happen is we're gonna electrocute that rock since she's like growing out of that rock. Or at least that's what it seems like. That will kill her. Ideally, and hopefully not let the supercharger. <laughs> Can I talk to that kid? I don't know if I've asked him about mother yet. Just for old time's sake. <sighs> that pumpkin patch is dangerous. Those birds almost gouged my eyes out. They, they could have killed me. I told you. B-A-D. Mother needs the rest. So the birds keep us out while he sleeps and stuff. Yes. I... I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human! Don't you understand what she's... Mother is good! Mother is the way! Mother protects us from the meat. M-E-E-T. The meat must be killed so the feelings can grow. K-I-L-L. -L. You know how Mother feelings. Grow? Is that what she told you? She's helping you grow? She's killing you! She's... <laughs> you lying. I was right about a new adult. You're just like Jetta. You're bad meat. Mother! Mother! But Marty, wait! I... Give away! I don't want to talk to you! <laughs> Alright, now that we've successfully alienated just about everyone in town against us, let's go kill their mother. <laughs> Alright. Any new dialogue from you? Nope, she can't talk to us Alright. Back through the long, windy maze of walking. Alright, up the daisies. Man, this is this really jumped from like one to eleven really fast. Because that first episode, it's like, eh, there's two puzzles, there's some stuff going on. And here there's you know, it's much longer. There's so much walking, it's a much bigger area. We're all coming up on like two hours now for the zone. Oh boy, at least now I know. I kind of figured it would be longer, but at least now I know about how much time the budget for each level. Give or take. I mean, who knows? There could be another half hour after we kill Mother. Maybe she gets assigned to ring the bell. <laughs> And then we gotta give the kids a sermon to make them better or something. I don't know. I, I, I think killing mother is probably gonna be the last but bit here. And actually, I'm going to save right here. Load game. Just in case. Fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Alright. We'll be back game. once I get back to where I was. Alright, now we're back. <laughs> and we're gonna Save game. choose the proper one. I think we're getting close. But, uh, I'm not sure if Killing Mother is gonna be the actual end of the zone. I think it's gonna be close Save to the end, but game. not quite the end. Because we still have to fish that thing out of the water. And I mostly just redid everything that I did prior from that last the save. With the exception, can. I did not uh, pester all the kids about Mother, so we didn't alienate the whole town this time. I also tried to go back to uh, Maria and see if finding the news article. Um, no, maybe something else. Oh no, I think we, we still have to fish it out now. Still need to fish it out. Uh, but I decided to try to get that article from the um, from the store. 
and um, just to see if she had any dialogue or if that uh, kid, if Carol's brother had any dialogue. None of them did. Looks like a barn. An old gas-powered generator. Maybe we can start it up. Is that what the missing? Stupid, stupid. No, I don't think so. Not a good idea. That won't solve anything. Come on, come on. Okay, so we can't hook it up to anything yet, but it is running. What a piece of junk. Probably only good for spare parts. So I think maybe that metal thing is the last thing we need. Is we've got to fish that out of the water somehow. And then stick that in the metal. Or, or not even in the metal, maybe in one of Mother's tentacles. And then hook the cable up to that. Alright, so back through this again. Although maybe I'm lucky and they're just like, oh, the river is lower now for some reason. And now we can go in and grab it. Probably not, but <laughs> be nice. I know there's that kid that somehow got across the, the water. Be nice if we could take someone's fishing rod, but I guess they want us to find another means of fishing it out, even though plenty of our tools probably could have done the job. Can we break another of these off? Fun! I should ride the rest. I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> and our inventory... Yep, it's empty. I will say the items generally have a little bit of an uncanny valley thing going on where uh, they're, because they're interactable, they're a little different from the rest of the environment. Yeah, we can't. A metallic cross. I'll need something to fish it out with. Yeah, can you help us fish it out? Yep, he, he just gives up. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing we can really say to him. So what item am I missing? The school and the church come to mind as... Actually, the three buildings... I am going the wrong way here. We either gotta convince the kid to give us his fishing line, or we gotta find a new item. And I'm not seeing anything else here. That's what I was missing. Motherfucker. Alright. A rock. That should get people's attention. So we got one kid's attention. Did I need? It is. The okay. little kid has left his fishing rod. All right, now we're stealing from the little kid. Perfect. <laughs> now we can finally finish this puzzle and get out of here. So stealing mother will be in the end. And we did have to ring the bell, so I'm happy I would. Well, it didn't quite have as big of an effect as I thought. I thought everyone would come running, uh, but apparently not. 
He's praying. I'd better leave him alone. I thought they'd be a little more indoctrinated than that. All right. You're cheating, Jesse. Hey, kids. How's it going? Uh, we can probably probably want to fish it up from the bridge, right? That's the thing. I gotta guess where he wants to fish it up from, as we've seen with the uh, scarecrow. The animations are very particular about which way you approach them from. Yes. All right. Now we have our metal metallic oh, cross. On this game. I hate it. It's not fair. I never win. All right, and I'll go through Maria's dialogue really quickly, just to uh, go through it, so we can say we can finish off with someone, but I'm not going to go through it with every kid here. Uh, mother. Yes. Mother. Me. Me. There we go. All right, back through this one more time. this will hopefully be the last time we have to go through this path. Uh, so then we should be able to kill Mother, and then I think all the vines should recede, which should let us get out through the northern entrance to the town. Well, that's kind of what I'm expecting to happen. Alright, almost through the maze. There we go. Alright, so since I don't know if I'll get a chance to speak afterwards, I will save here using the save correct game. save icon. <laughs> and uh, if I don't have a chance to speak after this, because cutscenes or whatever before the next level, then thank you all for watching. See you next time. Let's stay safe out there. See you then. Children are free of you. Suck a bitch. All right. Let's see if she dropped any items. Ugh. What a mess. Nope. You won't even comment on the mess again. All right. It'd be really nice if we could just skip across there, but. Oh my god, it actually is making me go through the uh, maze again. Alright, I guess I have to manually leave the area, that's fine. I guess it's a chance to chat with everyone. But my god, is it not really necessary? Other than, the kids will either be confused that they're free with some being happy and some sad, or the majority of them will be indoctrinated too much by mother and just be angry that we killed her. Alright. But Maria is probably the first person that will, uh... At least Maria will be grateful. I think we know that much. But of course, it still leaves the problem that none of these kids have an adult to, uh, take care of them. Oh, Maria's gone. Did we kill all the kids? Were they that interconnected that they're all dead? Oh god, did we kill them all? Or did someone get Maria? And they're just gathered at the center. Alright, so that body is still dead. church or oh they might all be in the church or the schoolhouse no is 
they're just fucking gone. All right, I guess we killed all the children. Unless they're hiding in the fort. And curiously, Max here has nothing to say about this. But yeah, that's the only other place they could be hiding is the... Uh, in that house store thing, or... Oh, there's a it few places. It looks like a statue from... Okay. Did we find the truth? Are you going to say anything to me? No. Even the swings are empty. Looks like someone made a fort out of cardboard boxes. I still hear someone, I think. Alright. But you think they would have left behind some trace of them if we did kill them. You know, like, the mother left the big blob behind. Okay, we can't do anything with the pumpkin, apparently. Alright, what's left, then? The swing set in the town hall, I guess. A rusty old swing set. A rusty old swing set. For the children a figment of our imagination the entire time. Although, who knows, maybe maybe they simply left the city. Yeah, they're not here. Alright, well... I, uh... I suppose I should have guessed that such things might happen, but... Okay, that definitely looks like the way we're going to go. It looks like Maria is ascending there, so now I will save it. <laughs> save game. And uh, this is probably going to be the last time I get to talk for this episode. So with that, for Turn real this time, game. thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time. And stay safe out there, and we'll see you then. Thank you for freeing us, Max. Now that Mother is destroyed, the children are slowly returning to normal. They've all gone through the tunnel to join the rest of the world. I waited for you. Yes, but where are we going? 